Man notices something weird at work. He observed that all the people who came to the bank to withdraw money never cared about the pennies deducted from it. But it was this insignificant service charge that he saw as an opportunity to make a fortune. Because if he succeeded, he would become rich overnight. Although the man is a humble employee, but the bank he works for has 9, 5 million customers worldwide. The bank charges a service fee almost every day, depending on the nature of the account. If he could deduct 1 cent from each account and keep it for himself, he'd be a millionaire in no time. And he could do it without raising the suspicion of any of his clients. But because of his low position, he had no authority to do so. But the man was was good with computers. Nick rode a Trojan horse overnight and hid him in a seemingly harmless file. Then he sent an email to the bank president. He waited for his prey to take the bait. And sure enough, the next day, when the bank president came to work, he turned on his computer as a matter of habit. When the president saw the email disguised as business, he clicked on it unawares. Nick successfully hacked into his computer. He even accidentally discovered his secret with his young assistant. But Nick didn't care. He started operating remotely. The Trojan horse spread through the office in no time. In no time at all, the entire bank system was compromised. His real goal was to find the administrator's computer. It was the only place that had access to the bank servers. Soon the employees realized the computer had been hacked, and that was part of Nick's plan. When the cybersecurity officer arrived, the first order of business was to reboot the entire system. But to do that, you had to enter a password. Nick was able to get the password to the bank server, to connect to the bank servers. And the next thing he had to do, next, he had to deduct a penny from 9. 5 million bank customer accounts in the form of a service fee. He made 95,000 in just one minute, but the money didn't belong to him yet. In order to avoid giving himself away, he needs to find a dormant corporate account, and then transfer all the money into it. After a lot of manipulation. Nick finally managed to make his first pot of money without even knowing it. Yes! Yes! Yes!